Labeling or labeling is describing someone or something in a word or short phrase. For example, describing someone who has broken a law as a criminal. Labeling theory is a theory in sociology which ascribes labeling of people to control and identification of deviant behavior. It has been argued that labeling is necessary for communication. However, the use of the term is often intended to highlight the fact that the label is a description applied from the outside, rather than something intrinsic to the labeled thing. This can be done for several reasons. To provoke a discussion about what the best description is. To reject a particular label. To reject the whole idea that the labeled thing can be described in a short phrase, this last usage can be seen as an accusation that such a short description is overly reductive. Giving something a label can be seen as positive, but the term label is not usually used in this case. For example, giving a name to a common identity is seen as essential in identity politics. Labeling is often equivalent to pigeonholing or the use of stereotypes and can suffer from the same problems as these activities. The labeling of people can be related to a reference group. For example, the labels black and white are related to black people and white people, the labels young and old are related to young people and old people. The labeling of works of art can be related to genre. For example, a piece of music may be described as progressive rock or indie or raga jungle drum and bass. However, there are other labels that can be applied to a work, such as derivative, low or high. The use of the word labeling is less common in the context of works of art than people. However, it also often represents the rejection of a label. For example, an artist may feel that the labeler is attempting to restrict the scope of the artist's work to that which is covered by the label. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Labeling system on the World Wide Web. Labeling on the web represent the chunks of information in our information environments. In an information environment, labels occur in two formats, textual and iconic. When creating labels, the goal is to communicate efficiently, and without taking up too much space. Labels should be written in a language that's familiar to the users, and in a way that they will detect new and recognize similar concepts. Textual labels Contextual links are hyperlinks to chunks of information on other pages or another location on the same page, and need to draw meaning from their surrounding text. Headings Labels are often used as headings to present subsequent information and create a hierarchy within contents. A hierarchical relationship between headings is established visually through a consistent use of numbering, font size, color and styles, white spaces, indentation, or a combination of these items. Navigation system choices – There is no standard for a navigation system but common categories might be Main – Main page – Home Search, find, browse, search, browse Site map, contents, table of contents, index Contact, contact us Help, FAQ News, news and events, news and announcements, announcements About, about us, about, who we are, index terms are often referred to as keywords, tags, descriptive metadata, taxonomies, controlled vocabularies and thesauri. Such labeling systems can describe any type of content such as sites, subsites, pages, or content chunks. Iconic labels 
Icons can serve as a substitute for text to represent information. Iconic labels are used as navigation systems, especially in mobile apps, where screen space is constrained. <laughs> <laughs> Labeling in argumentation In context of argumentation and debate, labeling a debater or position is often whether consciously or unconsciously used as a «red herring» to divert or dismiss the argument, instead of valid argumentation. Often in the form of ad hominem association fallacy aiming at accrediting or discrediting the argument or the debater by associating them with an emotionally charged label. Typically negatively, labeling it as ridiculous or despicable, though it can also go the other way round, attempting to gain sympathy for example by promoting the debater or position as authoritative, or by appealing to pity. Using labeling in argumentation this way constitute an informal fallacy. For example, The guy believed that it can be done with the right technology. The guy is a perverted pansy, i.e., therefore it can never be done. The witness claimed to have seen something that indicates foul play. It is paranoid to assume foul play, i.e., therefore whatever the witness might have seen is irrelevant. Markings indicate that it was done with a crowbar. And secondly, Mr. X is a suspect. It is ridiculous to suspect Mr. X i.e. Therefore it is also ridiculous to assume it was done with a crowbar. It has been suggested that something it said in the book could be wrong. It is a very noble book, i.e. Therefore the suggestion is wrong. See also Archetype Association fallacy Attributional bias Discrimination Labeling theory Name calling Pigeonholing Social stigma 